What's up, Andrew Fanatic? Tech Fanatic here from AwesomeDrawBlackSpot.com. With me with the Galaxy S3 T99 C Mobile, I'm be showing you how to install Wicked RAM and your Galaxy S3. So I just want to show you that I actually have the Wicked RAM already transferred and downloaded onto my phone. So make sure you download the Wicked RAM and transfer it directly onto your phone. As always, I'll link in the description below on where to download this RAM, all the download links, oh, where the, my source is and all that to get this RAM. So I just want to show you them on the Wicked RAM. So let me go into here. As you can see right there, I got Wicked and it's a zip file. So when you transfer that uh, RAM, do not unzip it. Make sure no application unzips it for you. Just transfer that zip file directly onto your phone and then you're done. You can unplug your phone or you can download directly to your phone as well. So it's your option to transfer from computer or just download directly onto your phone. But make sure you're not using data because it will uh, chew up a lot of your uh, data plan. So once you get that transferred onto your phone, we're going to enter into Clackle Mod Recovery. So you must already have Clackle Mod Recovery already installed on your device. If you don't have it installed on your um, Galaxy S3, you can look right there how to install Clackle Mod Recovery on any type of Galaxy S3 in the world. Very universal good guide. So just um, watch that. And now we're going to power off. Uh, wait until the blue um, button right there, or the LED right there uh, turns off, and then we can begin. So give it a few seconds. All right, it turned off. You could feel the vibration and the LED turned off. Now we're going to enter into Cloud Core Mode Recovery Mode. So press the volume up, home center button, and um, power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go the power, but keep holding until the volume up and home center button. So all three. Vibration, let go power. Just keep holding until you enter into Clockwork Mode Recovery Mode. Alright, you'll be on this screen. Now you must have this um, hat with the Clockwork Mode Recovery, that's the Clockwork Mode Recovery logo. If you don't have that, you're playing on Stock Recovery and that means you haven't installed Clockwork Mode Recovery on your Galaxy S3. So make sure you have Clockwork Mode Recovery on your Galaxy S3. Oh, sorry about that. So now we're going to go and wipe data so that's factory reset. So first we're going to be wiping everything so we don't get stuck in boot loop. So this will delete all your data on your phone, so make sure you back it up before you actually begin. So as you can see, the process is working below. And then it says data wipe complete. Now we're going to go to wipe cache partition and select yes as well. Now it will do its thing. Now we're going to go into advanced and go to wipe Dalvik cache and select yes as well. All right, that is complete. Now go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and find that wicked RAM. And it doesn't matter if you transfer any internal or external, just choose the correct folder of where you transferred it. So mine's not even in a folder, so as you can see, my wicked RAM is right there. So I'm going to be choosing wicked. Choose that, and select yes. Now this is a very different, uh, unique installation uh, style, so please do watch this whole video. Do not install it and just uh, reboot, because it's going to boot up into a different type of view right here. So as you can see right now, it's booting up. As you can see, this has never happened before on any other ROM you probably installed. You can see Evil Art and all this cool stuff is happening. This is very unique, even to me. It's the first time I've actually ever seen this happen. So, as you can see, the version is 5. You probably can't see that, but it's alright. Version is 5. The camera can't really pick up this green screen. I apologize for that. So we're just going to go to next. And now you have these options. You can uh, do... um. Full installation, remove lower, or do a custom installation. So you can you have one of these options. Now, if you're not very um, if you're not very um into um, very uh, technical and all that, just do a full installation and be done with it. If you don't want to mess up the phone, or if you're not very understanding. But if you know what kernels and modems and everything like that are, then I would uh, recommend you do um, a remove bloatware option or a custom installation. So I'm just gonna do a custom installation just cause I know what I'm doing. But if you don't, just do the full installation and you'll, you'll be fine. So right here, we're gonna choose the type of kernel that we have. So my camera is really not picking this up. So I do apologize. Oh, that's better. That's improvement. All right, so I'm just gonna be choosing the very first one. You can choose uh, whichever one, just tap on it. So I'm gonna choose Trinity and select next. Now in here, select the modem. It doesn't matter. Um, if you're gonna, if you, um, you must choose a modem on this one. If you don't choose a modem, your Wi-Fi and data will not work. So make sure you choose a modem. You can't just select none. Make sure you select a type of modem. It doesn't matter what type of modem, just choose any one. And now the theme. 
So this is an awesome uh, option right here. You have the option to choose blue, blue center clack, red, and red center clack, or you can choose none, and that will just be default st uh, the stack green. So I do prefer blue, so I'm gonna be choosing the very first one, blue, and I'll be selecting next. Now you can select um, everything you want. Do you want Google Now and all that? So low memory killer. I'm just gonna leave the stack value. I don't wanna mess with that. Google Now. Yes, I want Google Now. Obviously, Google Now is much better than Samsung Voice or S Voice. Ad blocking. Yes, I want ad blocking. Oops, sorry about that. I want ad blocking as well. And loud volume limit. I don't want to mess with that. I don't ever use my loudspeakers anyway. So next. There we go. And here you go, it gives you um, bloatware and apps, so I'm just going to be skipping through all this and select yes. But you can obviously customize and uh, do what you prefer. There we go. Alright, now it says press next to install, or press install now, so I'm going to press install now. There we go. I have to press it a couple times. And now it's installing the RAM of your custom choice. So you probably notice that it's very um, different and unique compared to other installations of custom RAMs because it gives you so many more options and it's right into Clackamon Recovery. So it gives you options to kernel, Google Now, bloatware, um, what type of modem and all that. So it's a very cool type of RAM that you should definitely check out. So I'll be right back once he's done installing the custom RAM. Now we're going to be on this screen, select finish. And now it's going to reboot your phone onto the new Wicked Custom RAM on your Galaxy S3 T999. Now you're going to hear some cool uh, boot animation music and all that. But do not touch your phone for 15 minutes. Yes, you heard right. 15 minutes. Do not touch your Galaxy S3 or you're going to run into problems like force closes and uh, processor not working and all that. So as you can see right now, you can hear the background or the, the music for the boot animation. So I'll be right back when this is done booting up. But do not touch your phone for 15 minutes, even though you can see a startup screen and all that. So I'll be right back. Okay, I waited 15 minutes. I haven't even started the start screen. Like I said, make sure you don't touch your phone for 15 minutes, even though you see a start screen. So after 15 minutes, uh, you can set up your whole phone. You can do all your um, whole setup. Uh, put your Gmail, your location, your name, and all that. And as you can see, it's very quick as well. So let me zoom out. You get a better look at that. There you go. Now let me go into settings and... Uh, show you that um, I'm running on a Wicked Round version 5 ice cream sandwich. So there you go, you're on 4.4, kernel version build number, and w Wicked uh, version 5. So that's how you install Wicked uh, version 5 ice cream sandwich custom ROM on your Galaxy S3 T999 T-Mobile. Thanks for watching guys, and if you want to see a ROM review of this uh, custom ROM, Wicked ROM, check that video right there for the custom ROM of this video. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you already haven't for more round reviews, installations, and other videos for your Galaxy S3, not just T-Mobile, uh, US Cellular, Verizon, Sprint, all the other ones as well. And give this video a big old thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.